Martin Luther King first received national attention in Montgomery, Alabama, for organizing a boycott of the city's segregated bus system. The boycott lasted 80 days and ended when the Supreme Court outlawed segregation in public transportation. King was then only 25 years old. His calls for nonviolent protest inspired sit-ins across the South. In 1960, more than 50,000 people participated in demonstrations in over 100 cities across the country. 3,600 were jailed. In the summer, thousands of freedom riders, mostly black and white students from northern cities, rode buses to southern cities and towns to protest discrimination laws. Many were turned back or beaten, their buses set afire. Increasing levels of violence against demonstrators led many to question the wisdom of participating in nonviolent protests. Eleven years after the Montgomery boycott, Martin Luther King spoke to this concern. Deep down in our nonviolent creed is the conviction that there are some things so dear, some things so precious, some things so eternally true that they're worth dying for. And if a man happens to be 36 years old as I happen to be, and some great truth stands before the door of his life. Some great opportunity to stand up for that which is right. He's afraid his home will get bombed. Or he's afraid that he will lose his job. Or he's afraid that he will get shot or beat down by state troopers. He may go on and live until he's 80. But he's just as dead as 36 as he would be at 80. And the cessation of breathing in his life is merely the belated announcement of an earlier death of the spirit. He died. dies when he refuses to stand up for that which is right. Yes. A man dies when he refuses to stand up for justice. Yes. A man dies when he refuses to take a stand for that which is true. Yes. So we're going to stand up right here amid horses. Yes. We're going to stand up right here in Alabama amid the billy club. We're going to stand up right here in Alabama amid police dogs if they have them. We're going to stand up amid tear gas. Yes. We're going to stand up amid anything that they can muster up, yes. letting the world know yes. that we are determined to be free. Immediately after the speech, listeners began a protest met by state troopers wielding nightsticks. <laughs> 